Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Herman versus Houston. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Miss Herman, you are here to prove that Mr. Houston is the biological father of your two-year-old son, Corey. You contend the defendant duped you and was living a double life. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Houston, you claim that you are not the biological father of Miss Herman's son and will clear your name when the results are read. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Miss Herman, explain what you mean that Mr. Houston was living a double life? Mr. Houston was a liar. He was a cheater. He was also a womanizer. And during the time after we had sex, not too long after I found out he had a wife and children. Really? Yes. How did you find that out? Um, Your Honor, I like to call this the investigadget stage. That's what I do. <laughs> investigadget? Investigadget. When my woman intuition hits, that's what I do. I investigate. Okay, and what, what made your, your woman's intuition kick in? So, during the time I was pregnant, I had told Mr. Houston that I was pregnant. He said that he would be there for me and my child. After two doctor's appointments, he stopped showing up. So, I got a little suspicious. So, I got my investigation glasses on, you know, and I found out via Facebook that he has a wife and children. And, and I, have, I have the evidence right here, Your Honor. I'd like to see that. Jerome. Your Honor, that is a wedding band on his hand. So you go on Facebook mm -hmm. and you see this picture of Mr. Houston mm -hmm. and he has a wedding ring on his hand. Mm -hmm. And so you see the wedding band mm -hmm. and then what do you do? And then I call him immediately because I was deceived. You never told her you were married, never Mr. Houston? Never has he ever even brought up the fact that he had children. Five. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> Mr. Houston, you never informed her of these very important details? When I met her, I met her as a gentleman. Before anything, before my father, before my dad, before my liar, before my cheater, before any of these things at all, I'm a man first. Well, you over here doing a Shakespearean play. Uh, <laughs> tell me what happened. How is it you end up getting this woman pregnant and she finds you on Facebook with a ring on and a family? You know, anything I got going on before I met her wasn't her business. You see what I'm saying? I wasn't curious about the extra stuff. I was more curious about getting to know who she was. So your marriage and your kids and your wife were all extra things? No, it wasn't extra at all. It was just something that, you know, I didn't, I didn't communicate with her. Why? Well, because, you know, I wasn't trying to go in the direction of being with her or... I wasn't, I wasn't going... But to... you didn't use protection when you were sleeping with her. She... No, you did not. Did you, you tell did not. Don't lie. You did not use... He did not use a condom, Your Honor. He did not. Your Honor. No. The answer is no. Don't Your let Honor. him lie to you. The answer is no. No. Well, N-O. No. The you night... That... No. <laughs> listen. Listen. How did you meet Mr. Houston? I met him at a club. He was very charming and appealing at the time, buying me dr shots of Patron. You know, that's an expensive drink. He also had a truck with rims on it and with nice, you know, nice beats in it. So, at the young age that I am, I'm thinking, like, you know, I'm young and naive. I'm thinking, like, he's got it going on. When did you two become intimate? That same night? That same night. After the club. He took me home See, to his house. This. And this I went... Right and here, this is how game. I did... Wait know, a minute. This... He took you home to his house? Where was his wife and his kid? I went through the house. I'm looking under bed sheets. I want to see if there's some stilettos or some thongs under here. I want to make sure. I want to be sure. And when I went through all that stuff, there was no, no sign of no women or no children in that home. So which house was this, Mr. Houston? See, the thing is this. I had a homie that just got married. You know, we were celebrating his, his marriage, you know? <laughs> I met her during the process. You know, she was... She was seemed like she was out of her comfort zone, you know? Like she wasn't even supposed to be in this... this scene. That she wasn't. Set. She wasn't supposed to be there, you know what I mean? So I approached her. I said, hey, how you doing? You know? We, we started communicating. She told me her name. I let her know who I was. But... No, but... you didn't. <laughs> no, he didn't. I, I didn't he didn't, Your Honor. Don't let him lie let... to you. And then when he... When he do that thing with his eyebrows... When he do that thing with his eyebrows, he's lying. See, look. See look, the things you... <laughs> I'm telling you. We will not take that testimony as fact. Now, that was a lie, but that go was... ahead. When I... When I seen you that... You introduced yourself. When I introduced myself, it was more of a... How you doing? What you doing in here? Where you from, you know? And it was cool, but it, the, the same energy I was transferring, she was giving back. So it was like she made me feel like she was used to doing this all the time. But I, I was okay with what was going on because I had plans on taking her home at the end of the day. And, and, I and seen which her, home is this? I didn't take her to my, my, my home. Oh. Of course, but my buddy, he, he was... He was oh. 
He got married that day. So it was his home because now he had a new home with his wife. Exactly. So this was like his this bachelor pad. This is like pad. a bachelor, bachelor pad, you know? So how long does this relationship go on? Um, about a month and a mm. half when I found out I was pregnant, I told Cortez that I was pregnant and he didn't say anything on the other line of that phone. He said, are you for real? I said, yes, I'm for real. Then he promised that he would be there throughout the whole pregnancy, yeah, not okay. just two doctors. At Wait. what point do you discover that he has a wife? Are you already pregnant? Yes. We need to go back, first of all. Okay, the night before I actually even thought that she was pregnant, okay? I wanted to stay the night with her because, you know, at this time, my kids were asleep, my wife was asleep too, all right? I was up. I, 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 had, I, had, I was just up. I was full of energy. Went to the bathroom, I called Carice, and I asked her, what you doing? She answered the phone at 2 a.m. like I expected. She was ready, okay? I wind up leaving, going over there in my car. I went to her house, and I, you know, once I got there, she always got it laid out. She would have candles here, candles there. She would have it smelling good. And she always didn't have no clothes on. Mm -hmm. She always had this one little silk thing that hang tight on her butt. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> like, like, like if she do any kind of extra movement, that thing was, that booty was showing, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, long story short, I got over there. I want details, okay. but I don't know if it's too deep. much. It's too much. It's too much. Mr. Houston, did your wife have any idea you were leaving the house at 2 in the morning and sleeping with another woman? See, the thing is this. We were already on the verge of going through a divorce. Things wasn't what she expected it to be. Look we at his eyebrows. Maybe you didn't Look understand my question. Did your wife know... You left the house to go sleep with another woman? No, she did not. Okay. <laughs> so I wouldn't Jerome, have know that, Sienna. Jerome, uh, I think I'm ready to speak to Mr. Houston's wife. Really? Let's do that. Oh, no. She here? Miss Houston is joining us today from her hometown. Hello, Miss Houston. Hello. Thank you for joining us today. If you've heard the testimony thus far, you hear that Ms. Herman and your ex, now ex-husband, were in a relationship, unfortunately, during your marriage. Right. How did you find out about Miss Herman? The way I discovered that, you know, they were doing whatever was a message came in his phone and it said, um, when I have the baby, I want to I wanna move in with you. So I'm looking like, who the hell is this and what is she talking about? You know, and I'm like, so somebody is pregnant by you? Like, you know, I'm trying to get answers, and he, like, playing dumb, you know? He wouldn't tell me the see, truth see, about see it, you so... You just I mean, you know, man. like, eventually, I end up calling the number, and I talked to her. Oh, you did? You had a conversation? Yeah. And I explained to her who I was, asked her what was her position, and what, like, was she really pregnant by him? Was she sure, like, it was his baby, you know? And she was like, yeah, like, he's the only person I've been with. That's, you know, he said he's gonna be there for me, and blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, so... You're pregnant. I'm pregnant, too. So Ooh. how does that work? Like, you know... I thought you said the marriage wasn't what you all both expected See, and you all this. were on your way to getting a divorce. See, I'm in the business of making babies, you know? I have every... <laughs> you know, I have every reason to extend my bloodline. Let me, let me let you know, you know, when I was 10 years old, I lost my superhero, you know? My father, you know? And once I seen my baby, it, it was really like a replacement because I could see all my dad's features in my child. You are basically expressing that you experienced an emotional trauma, yeah, you losing know. your father. Exactly. And you thought by making more children... I'll be connected with my you father. You will be connecting with your father. At the end of the day, you do have to understand that when you bring children <clears throat> into the world with paternity questions, that's not being a superhero. That's not being the kind of father you say you lost. I met her at the club. I took her home that night. I had no intentions on getting her pregnant. But you I did not use protection, did you? I did you? use I didn't know this woman He's from He's lying. I didn't know her he from He did Tim not Buck use protection. Young Gunner, I didn't know this woman. I didn't know he her He must at be all. talking about one of the other girls, because it wasn't me. 
I don't like condoms, so I don't use condoms. Exactly, and Period. I want you to know this. They make, they, I'm allergic to latex, so I can use non-latex condoms. Why do people keep saying they're allergic to Listen, latex, but not allergic to sex? This woman tried to trap no. me. I mean, I it's like... sex at all. You are right. If you Listen. allergic to latex, then Listen. you don't need to be having Listen. those sex. Listen, when he first brought out the condom, I said, is it a no-lex type condom? He told me, no, it's latex. I said, I can't use that. I said, we better off not. No, never mind, I'll just do it anyway. No, that's not true. I'll bro. just do it anyway. I didn't know this woman Instead at all. Instead of going to get a no latex Yana. condom, I'll just do it anyway. But it wasn't your intent to get me pregnant. Miss Houston, you at the end of the day, I'm you're at you home. Like you that? have no idea all this is going on. None whatsoever. Nope. And he wouldn't be honest about nothing. Like, you know, I gave him plenty of opportunity to, like, just be real. You know, like, we all mess up. We all make mistakes. Whatever. But at the same time, like, how do you expect me to be in a relationship with you if I can't trust you to, you know, be honest with me? Like, Miss Houston, at the end of the day, you're at home pregnant by your husband while he's out impregnating his mistress. Yep. She wasn't there. It's like eating chicken every day. I wanted something else. It had nothing to do with my wife. Can you please <laughs> know when to stop when you're ahead? <sighs> These women are trying... I accepted your baby-making business story because I knew you didn't have the proper words to explain what you were feeling. But you're not gonna sit up in this courtroom and talk about women. Beautiful women are equivalent to some chicken. Well, that's not what no, I'm No! You're not gonna do that. I understand. So now we need to rephrase. Okay, then. So now, Ms. Herman, Mr. Houston testified that he wants to be a dad. Has he been a dad to Corey? No. He doesn't do anything for Corey at all. So I didn't buy nothing. He doesn't do anything for Corey no, at this all. This woman is full of lies today. I don't know why. Can you, so what can have you show you done? your receipt? Can what you have you receipt? done? I made sure that I, 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 I had his first pair of shoes. I got him some booties. I did everything that I was supposed to do as far as making sure he had car seats. I did all those things. Of course, she ain't gonna give me no credit today. I'm not, because he came to the baby shower and he dropped off one pack of diapers. That's not true. I didn't even go to the baby shower. See? Your Honor, I can't build a family with somebody that's already got a family. How am I gonna do that? the same How does woman that, that shows up to my house with hickeys on her neck. Actually, it wasn't my house again. It was one of my homes. But I'm not his house. wife. Is that why you doubt that you're Corey's father? That's what I'm trying to let you know. I never tried to make a baby with her. All my other kids, they were intentional. I did try to create this, you know what I'm trying to say? Listen, if pregnancy required intention, yep. a lot of us wouldn't be in this room See, right thank now. You. Thank, thank you, thank you, thank you. Pregnancy, thank you. let me explain something to you. Pregnancy does not require intention. You don't have to intend to impregnate anyone. But the thing is this, one night me laying in her bed, her phone vibrating in the bed. Now, mind you, it's 2 a.m., okay? Who is this text message is coming through 2 a.m.? You know what she said? Don't worry about it. On my life. You know what I did when she told me don't worry about it? Because I gave her my time. I left my home to come check on her, you know? She oh, was my... the privilege for her. You yeah, didn't. It Thank you. It actually was the privilege. you left your wife. I'm second choice. Thank you. See, I appreciate thing, it. It wasn't second choice. Mr. Houston, you are walking a tightrope on my last nerve right now. <laughs> Yana, if she opened the door when I needed to open the door, what, let, what makes you think when I... I'm sure she did this already. She had plenty of men over there. I mean, she had hickeys So over there. that's my next question. Ms. Herman, I must ask you, <clears throat> were you entertaining, having sex with... She was. ...any other men during the time she you was. also were having sex with Mr. Houston? Not during the time I was having sex with Mr. Houston. She was. I know she was. So now you're raising Corey all on your own. I've been raising Corey by myself for, for three two years. years, almost three years. Almost three years, yeah. You know, actually, this why, why would she want to make him my child? Why, why would she want to give me? I don't want to. She know I got kids. Your Honor, I don't want to make him nothing. Right. If he wasn't the father, I promise to God, I'll do the Holy Ghost dance all around this. So you, so you telling me there's no way that nobody no way. else could be? If it was, I promise to God. If it's not, you gonna see. And I love my, I love all my kids. But this, this one, he is not my child. You know, all my kids got the same duck lip. They got the same pointy nose like me. We all got the same thick eyebrows. Corey have a smush nose, you know. His face looks nothing like mine's or my father's or my other kids. So, Ms. Herman, tell me what you want after today's results. I just want him to step up and be a man, like he says he is, a man before anything. That's all I want him to do. For Corey. For Corey. All right, I have the results for you. Jerome? Here you go, Your Honor. Thank you. 
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Herman versus Houston, when it comes to two-year-old Corey Herman, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Houston, you are not the father. Yes! Thank you, Jesus. I ain't gotta talk to this man not no more. So you just did all this? Uh, I don't wanna hear nothing else you, you got to what? say. It's I'm cool, free. You know? Yep. Miss Herman, I asked you... Who came to the ...was there any other man? When we were sleeping together, we were sleeping together. I slept with somebody I'm a prior. tight right now. So you're saying once you met Mr. Houston, you only slept with him, but the truth is you were already pregnant. It's a little relief, though. Do yeah. you know okay. who your child's father is? Yeah. It ain't me. Does he want to be in Corey's life? I doubt it. Hey, look. <clears throat> you now have ruined your family behind a relationship that didn't even produce a child, ultimately. Yana, I can't feel no worse than I already feel, okay? I'll take that. Because the only reason why I sit here is to try to get through to the people who come before me. Corey really is a good boy. I, you know, I had, I had plans on loving him. And you can still love him. Oh, He's I'm just a, uh, not your biological child. Is this? She already done separated us. Listen, that's why we have this counseling. Because I want you all to see how to go forward. I wish you all the very best. Court is adjourned. Thank you.